Hey, what's up, guys? It's Number One Pred here, and today what I'll be bringing you guys is a DNA bomb, obviously, because this is day number 14 of the 25 DNA bombs of Christmas. And the gameplay we'll be watching in the background is an under three and a half minute DNA bomb. It's pretty fast, pretty entertaining, and it's on the map Detroit, playing some solo domination. And uh, you know, I got my first DNA bomb within the first half of the match, so I definitely set myself well up to go for the double in this gameplay. But as per usual, my name should be the number one choke, and I do fail on a 25 uh, gun streak the, the following round. So that really annoyed me, and it kind of is going to link into what I'm going to be talking about today. What I'm going to be talking about today is choking, and actually my past history of going for double stuff. Because as of right now, I haven't got double DNA, which is kind of embarrassing considering I'm meant to be a, part, a Carnage pub stomper, and there's a lot of people who aren't in Carnage. Um, and you know, big clans that are that are getting consistent doubles, and yet there's still me with my single ones, which you know doesn't look too good. But I will admit, luck is not on my side on this game because you do need a lot of luck to get the double DNA bomb in this game. And I'm going to go through my you know past history of going for singles and then doubles. So on MW3, I didn't really choke that much. I got my first Moab um, because I was getting better at the game. I wasn't good at the start. I was pretty awful to be honest. Um, I got my first Moab with April uh, the next year after release and then a few months later about a month, uh, probably about a month on the dot later I got my first double Moab so I didn't take that much of grind or choking to get my first double uh, Moab because it wasn't really a struggle. Uh, moving on to Black Ops 2 I got my first uh, nuclear a month after the game came out so in that December period and um, was my first nuclear which I was really happy about at the time and then I wanted to go for the double a little bit later on in the year I uh, kept failing, kept, kept failing, I choked extremely hard a lot of times and I eventually got my first double nuclear in late July the next year so it took me all those months to get my first double nuclear from the first so there was a lot of choking and that was a tryout game that involved a lot of UAV map awareness and a lot of you know less bullets to uh, more bullets to kill should I say going into ghosts I got my first de uh, chem strike not DNA bomb my first chem strike uh, the second day after release which was actually the first day I got the game so um, I got it pretty much first day and uh, I got my first double chem strike about five days later so that took absolutely no choking at all I think I got my first attempt for going a double and it was crazy so uh, no choking there and notice the games that I've been choking MW3 and Ghosts they're Infinity War games so it kind of shows how you know superior I am on those kind of games compared to other games that involve UAV I don't know what it is but when uh, it implements UAV I'm not very good at controlling the map and whatnot so I do struggle and it does seem to trick me often as well uh, so that kind of leads into the bad luck section but uh, yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy this gameplay um, nonetheless apart from the negative commentary about me choking all the time but anyways guys have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow peace